An international human rights group says Saudi officials have moved a disabled man sentenced to death for attending an anti-regime protest into solitary confinement in preparation for his execution. The UK-based reprieve stated that Saudi authorities have not given a reason for the transfer of partially deaf and blind Munir al-Adam, which took place on June 22. The group said Adam's family had not been allowed to visit him, noting that the disabled man is believed to be held in a cell for 25 hours a day without outdoor exercise breaks. Reprieve director May Fawa said the 23-year-old steel cable worker could be executed at any moment without his family being notified. There is usually no date and no location given. The system is incredibly secretive or secretive and opaque, which adds to the distress for the families of those involved, she added. In May, the Saudi Specialized Criminal Court upheld a death sentence for the Saudi man, who has impaired sight and now cannot hear on one e in one ear at all as a result of being badly beaten by regime forces.